my pressure pot and my lid. I've got to kind of lube that up tomorrow. But uh, basically, it's a two and a half gallon pressure pot, and I've got the hardware all set up. I've got a gauge on the hose and one on the gun, so I don't need one here. Emergency pop off the valve in case I get too much pressure in there. But, uh, I don't dump my gel coat down in there. What I do is get a source for plastic buckets. I put the gel coat in there, put that down in there. Put this in, pressurize it. When I'm done, open it up, take this, dump out my gel, get a bucket with the acetone in it, put that one in there, put that back on, and flush out my line. But I've got to do some, I've got to check out my hose and get my gun ready. While I'm at this, I want to show you something else. go to lay up the part, I save a lot of milk jugs. So what I do is I cut out a section of it, and then I can use them like this, fill about that much with resin, so I get about a half a gallon in there, mix it up, and then I just pour it in where I need it. These are cheap. Real cheap. Beats, uh, beats cleaning it out of can or Now for my spray gun, I use, let's go over here, I'll show you. I use a Binks Model 18. This one's kind of old. I rebuilt it, I don't know how many times, but it's got a uh, 68 PB cap. Yeah, I just like that clean. Now, that thing's been used probably over 25 years, so that ain't too bad a shape. So this one's the one I want to use soon. It's actually never been used. That's a Banks Model 18. They don't make them anymore. This one's got a uh, 63 PB cap. Yeah, that should work. I've got other caps and tips and needles. Yep, 63 needle. But I bought that eBay. <laughs> and I've only, I don't see them that often, but I probably picked up two or three like this for about 25 bucks a piece. And this one, this new one, I ran that all the way up to 165 because I really wanted that gun. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know what I don't know what the new the modern equivalent of that is, but if you could tell me, that'd be great because there's only so many of these guns out there. I'd like to get something new.
Okay, time for a pressure test. This is my spray hose, my, my, my fluid hose that's got plugged into that end of the gun, and my air hose. Now I've had this, I've used this for quite a while, as you can tell by the old duct tape. I gotta replace all that. But before I even bother replacing that, I want to see if there's even air, air leaks in there or anything. So I hooked it up to here, hooked it up to my pressure pot. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and charge the pot. Get my own ring in there good enough. Let's try that again. Never used this paint gun with this compressor. I think I had too much pressure on it. Here we go.
There we go. That took it down to about about where I need it. What I need to do. That's for my brake up there. Plugs into here. I got a slight leak right there. I've got a couple more of those fittings. I might change that out tomorrow. So I'll do is I'll go ahead and get this gun cleaned up tonight. I'll stretch this out. Take all my ancient duct tape off, change that fitting out, get my regulator set up for on here. Because my new air compressor has got way too much pressure. And then we'll be in business. guys on the west coast I do have two quart pressure pots but I love my big pot and I've got more than one of those too